uh, Geological Survey of Japan, not the forestry. The drone is flying toward the ocean. There are many houses in the very narrow valleys of Atami, but these houses were built at a time when most of the landslides in that area had finished. So originally this area should have been stable, but far above in the high portions of these valleys, there were landfills that were in place. Land, uh, earth that was taken from other places filled in at the very top of the area here. So because this is such a stable area, really, you didn't need to make a tunnel for the Shinkansen. So the Shinkansen and the trains run all below here, but the landslide flowed all the way down and across this area. Oh, so they predicted that there would be a landslide, and therefore the Shinkansen was built above the area through which this mud flowed. Okay, so there was actually a prediction made that this kind of thing could happen. So below the Shinkansen tracks, there was a little valley that was dug so that the mud could flow to the ocean. But because many people started to live in that area, many people suffered from that disaster. So even though there's a hazard map about this kind of thing, the fact that people are living there is a big problem. Here's an old map of Japan of a hundred years ago, and here's a modern map of Japan. In the hundred year old map, there were no people living in this area, but in the modern area, there are many people living in that area. So there are many proverbs about these things that the people of the past have known, but for some reason we forget. And let's look a little bit more at the Japanese islands. So there was a hot spot about 70 million years ago where the Japanese islands were forming. And in the past, the islands were moving to the north. Now they are moving to the south, or to the west. So many islands were amalgamated together, and the land mass was created. And there, the Pacific plate started to dive below. And that's where Mogurikonde Narina, 
太平洋プレートの潜り込むことによって上昇運動ができて湖が So, because of the diving of the Pacific plate below this landmass,、uh, magma and the waters were forced up, and all kinds of、uh, minerals were also arising. And so, at about 60 million years ago, the Japanese islands started to form. And in the Japanese waters, warm ocean currents began to flow. And so, because it's warm ocean currents,、uh, water evaporates, and then when it falls, it can fall as snow. So, one of the specific characteristics of Japan is that even far to the south, you can get the fall of snow. And you can see that this is a place where four plates are converging. And so, if you empty out all the ocean waters, you can see that there are great mountain ranges about Japan. And so, the volcanic magma is also rising because of the diving of the Pacific plate. Shaku, 110 places where active. Volcanoes are arising in Japan. So, this is the characteristic of the Japanese island. We can say many, many things and make a list of them. And at the very bottom, you can see seasonal words of and haiku. Seasonal words and haiku. And there's a book that Oike Sensei has just put out, which I just received. In Japanese. In Japanese.、So、study your Japanese hard. And there are two Japanese words in Japanese. On the very end of Japan, of the Japanese country. この端っこの南鳥島という島が世界で一番安定した海洋プレートの上にあるということです。The very of Japan, the most point in the whole world. これ世界的に非常に珍しい。Very rare for the whole world. 日本は変動帯にあると言いましたけれども、ここは安定。Japan is a region of active、uh, tectonism, but this is an area that is very stable. And it's also very cool. Cold. Cold. Cold.、Oh, okay, the plate itself, the rocks at the base, are very cold. というわけで、この島ですけれども、これはまた一般の人は住んでいない。And this is the island, but there are not any average people living here. And so his proposal is that if you're going to throw away nuclear waste, this is the only place that you can do it. The most stable place in the world is located in Japan. 例えばアメリカですけれども、いろんな会社が福島第一のゴミを、核ゴミをですね、私が買って始末,始,始,始末してあげましょうという会社がいっぱいあります。で、これはお金を儲けようとしている。There are many companies that are coming to Japan to earn money by disposing of the destructed materials at the Fukushima nuclear plant area. そういうところにお金を払って頼むと、あの熱海の Okay, because if 
you pay money so that somebody can take that material and bury it in a place like Atami, we'll be in big trouble, won't we? So because Japan possesses these, this territory, this is the only place that Japan could really bury any hazardous materials. And this is what he has proposed in the newspapers. I have been living in Kyoto for a very long time, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Kyoto and that there are many active faults in that area. Uh, there is a basin from ancient times. And there is again another active fault that is revealed. So Kyoto is surrounded by active faults. And so you can see that there is a dis disturbed part of the earth where about 2,000 years ago a fault had occurred. This is a profile of the vertical cutaway into the earth Kyoto area. So from the upper regions, material is eroded and it is deposited in the lower areas. So in the basins, there's lots of material that is accumulating. So there's lots of deposition in the basin area. And lots of water accumulates there. Thanks to that water, the tea ceremony has advanced. Many things are born from this kind of thing. And so he's written a book about the deformation of the culture of belt. Of the culture of the deformation belt. And this is the culture that exists in Kyoto. Okay, because the great city has been built in this basin area, many people have come uh, to live there, but it is on top of many active faults, so it is predicted that there will be a great earthquake. So earthquake prediction is very important. So this is from the Khan period of ancient China, a, a seismological detection device. And why do the Kang people of China have such an interest in making such measurements of earthquakes? It's because if the emperors of the dynasties of uh, China do bad things, then they will be punished by heaven and a great earthquake will occur. Han dynasties. Han? Han, 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 so we can see that back in 818, there was quite an earthquake that occurred, and there was a recording of this. And so by the time of 869, just about a similar magnitude of earthquake occurred again. 
And at that time, Mount Fuji also had a great eruption. That explosion has left the lava flows of Aoki Gahara. And so the common people of Japan is all, have also kept records of this. So this is so a record And there are color prints of these kinds of events. <laughs> so the catfish is demanding that the people give him many treats or else he's going to cause an earthquake. Oh. So after the earthquake, there is lots of economic activity to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So this is the irony. So when you have the occurrence of earthquakes, you also have the occurrence of Seiyonki. Okay, so you have periods of high activity and then you have periods of long quiet. And then that is the time when the earthquake happens. And so when you illustrate it by maps, this is the way we can see it. Right now we're going into the most the next active period. So because of the cycle that we have in record, we're able to predict that around the time of 2038 there will be a great earthquake. And that is also written about in the book that Wiki Sensei has written. This is also in Japanese. So he has to live beyond a hundred years in order to observe that. それからもう一つ地震の季節性があって、巨大南海トラフの地震は10月から3月冬以降。10月から3月?9月から。9月から。次の春まで。Okay, so from the time of September to the next spring seems to be the seasonal activity of the earthquake. <laughs> so there is a company that is making emergency rations for food, and the time that this will expire, the freshness, is 2038. <laughs> This is a supercomputer simulation that was created by one of his disciples. So because we're able to reproduce the earthquakes that have happened in the past, we can also make predictions through simulation. So in the Shimizu port area, there is this uh, survey ship that is digging the deepest hole in the world. And so these have been his activities, and therefore he's recommending that there be the establishment of a system of earthquake and volcanic forecasters. And in the newspapers he's written such articles, but he's also trying to convey this through the animation. And let's see if I can translate this.
preventing earthquake and volcanic disasters. Japan has earthquakes and volcanic activity everywhere. There may be fake information passed along as well. So if we produce an information system so that we can have predictions soon enough, people can escape. So by our own hands, we can change the future. If you don't know anything about it, it's frightening. But if you know about it, it's not so frightening. We have to have trustworthy, trustworthy information that can be disseminated throughout the country. Therefore, I want to become a forecaster of earthquakes and volcanoes. Four shots have been occurring in this way, so be prepared for an earthquake that is coming. They're very slow moving earthquakes that can happen. Don't forget to have your disaster prevention goods on stock. I'm looking toward the future of this country. I'm not going to have anybody say that I don't know anything. The earthquake and volcanic ministry. This was produced by a freshman at the Kyoto University of the Arts. Because of Corona, you can only do distance learning, and so in order to deal with that, the new topic was what do we do? Well, he gave them the topic of producing this kind of animation. So he gave them various uh, jobs to do. This is a seismograph for a Tokyo earthquake. Last March, last April. So when you're making plans for earthquake uh, disasters, you have to look at the activities in the seismographs. And if you have somebody who can explain this to the people, then we can understand what is happening within the Earth. <laughs> Such as the fact that if four shots occur, then there's going to be the main shot coming soon. And keeping all of those things in mind, he has written a book on haiku. For atmospheric weather forecasting, we know that the uh, sands in the atmosphere from China will be coming. 
例えばこれ活断層突体の地震ですけども年号が書いてあるのはもう終わった地震です、so、where there's the year listed that those are earthquakes that have already finished だけど今前兆が発生している場所がありましてそれはまだ年号が書いてない3つの場所がこれから大きな地震が起こる場所ですねこの長期予報もできる、so、related to the four shocks that are happening there are also listed the areas that don't have dates that earthquakes could possibly occur はいというようなことで、えー、少しお話をしましたけれどもあとジオパークの紹介だけさせていただいて今43カ所のジオパークがあります43ロケーションですこのテーマを私は見るということと食べるということと学ぶということに Look, eat and learn are the things that he's created しましたえー、い,くいくつかの名これ大きいですね、えー、いろいろ食べるということができ昔の南海トラフの地震の後を見ることができます。This is from the 南海トラフ earthquake experience。で、夕日が沈むのを見て、ここのお魚を食べる。And as you look at the setting sun, you can have delicious fish. それから、霧島の文化を見る。This is the Kirishima volcanic eruption, which is in the southwest of Japan, Kawashima area. This is a Hong Kong geo park. Korean geo parks. And in the north of Taiwan, あの地層の弱いところだけ侵食が入る。OK、the erosion of the weaker parts of the soil。エリザベス女王の首がもうすぐ落ちる。They say it looks like the Queen Elizabeth's profile。えー、まあそんなことを学んでくださいという講演を作りました。まあそういうところに行って俳句を読みましょうというのが私の今日のおすすめでありまして。And I also recommend to you that we learn to read haiku。まあいろいろやってみてください。So、try all kinds of things. まあ、あの産業の短い詩を読むというのが英語の俳句ですね。それから地球社会の超ある共存、これは京都大学の基本理念でした。Let's harmonize with the earth. 一番問題大きな問題は水の問題でありまして、まあ、水がちょっとしかないということを知ってほしい。The is water. Drinking water is only just a little bit. そして国連の SDGs は皆さん。And most of you know about the United Nations Sustainable System. Sustainable system. There are many mass extinctions, and maybe pretty soon there will be a mass extinction of human beings as well. And in that case, let's become a clean and beautiful fossil. And those are my recommendations. Thank you very much. Thank you all for your enjoyment. He's used up every bit of the time that we had. But does anybody have any questions? So what is tritium? 